Hey guys, it's Matt from Inline and Ice Warehouse, and today we're taking a quick look at the Mikan recoil stick. All right, take a look at the construction on the recoil stick. It's the same construction that you might experience on the MV5 last year. It's our biaxial or continuous fiber construction. Basically, during the molding process, um, while they form this with their R900 composite material, there's no stop or starting points, which gives the stick a nice uniform flex as well as um, a lively feel throughout the life. The carbon doesn't break down like it seems to on other brands. Um, it's got a nice MTAC grip coating as well as some straight sidewalls and standard rounded corners there. As I go into the bottom, the acute taper is what they're calling it, as you can see, um, definitely tapers down there. It's going to give you a nice precise and responsive uh, snap. Let's take it in the blade, same R900 carbon they're using, um, but this is going to be a high density foam in here, so really nice amount of, uh, of response on this guy and you're going to be putting the puck in the net every time. Okay, the feel of the recoil stick, um, if you experience the MV5 or you got a chance to, to, to shoot around with the MV5, um, might have noticed that was blade heavy. I think they really did a good job fixing that. Feels much more balanced this year in the recoil. Um, I haven't had a chance to shoot with it myself, so I can't, you know, say about that more um, precise flex point they put in there. But really good feel to stick just, just right off the shelf. Um, if you want to pick up a recoil, you can at InlineWarehouse or IceWarehouse.com today.